Okay. Hey, my name is Mickey. I'm here to help you with uh, setting up your CPM. Um, when you receive it, you're going to have actually the CPM itself, uh, power cord, the pad kit, uh, which we have over here to the side, and uh, you're going to need a uh, tape measure. Um, first things first, you want to plug, uh, plug the machine in. Um, so you have a power cord. It's just going to plug right here. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it, but it just pushes in. And then also down here is actually the uh, power switch. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, measure the patient. And we've already measured Russ, so we know he's at 15 um, inches. But you're going to measure from the middle of the knee to the bottom of the hip. Um, and uh, so we got Russ measured here. And then we'll set that to the side. Uh, in order to have the correct length um, from the knee to the hip, uh, there's numbers that correspond uh, uh, with the amount of inches that your leg is. So, in order to change that, you loosen these knobs, uh, and you can move it up if you're taller, you know, way down if you're short, uh, but we'll put it at 15 like we had for Russ. So we put it at 15. Next thing we've got is to get um, the correct length from the knee to the bottom of the foot. So we're going to go ahead and loosen these um, knobs and it's going to allow us to slide um, this piece in and out. Uh, typically what I do, we'll go ahead and take one of these straps and we'll strap it around here. This strap is actually going to stay in that place. Um, and then we'll take the other strap and it's going to go here. And obviously you're going to need another person to help you with this. I uh, just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, so you'll sit down into the CPM as Russ is doing. And your knee should line up with this fulcrum because that's where it's going to bend and that's where we want your knee to bend. And then we'll bring this back to the bottom of the foot and tighten these down. And that's how we get the length right correct from the knee to the bottom of the foot. So now Russ can jump out and we'll get the rest of the pad kit set up for you. Um, this is the foot wrap. It's got a little lip here. Just fits here. There's a Velcro base. Fits on the back of the foot pedal. These are just Velcro straps. And they are going to wrap around the frame and to itself. You want this to be in the middle so you can't make it too tight until you find exactly where you are. And we'll just make sure that's there. Um, this leg strap will go back on, but for now we're going to take that off and set it to the side. And then we're going to start with the uh, cover. It's going to cover the frame, make it a little bit more comfortable for you to sit in the CPM. Again, more Velcro straps that are going to uh, connect along the frame. Uh, you actually start with this end is the top, so the ones that are closest will go up here. Um, so we'll just undo this and this. And it is a lot of Velcro, so it is very sticky, so you are going to uh, probably, you know, be attaching and deattaching and <laughs> It does get stuck on itself sometimes. Uh, we'll find another one. And we'll just go around the frame. Come down here. Same thing here. This is also not uh, an exact science. It does not have to be absolutely perfect. Um, this 
far as putting this cover on you know so that's just the tail if you're really tall you might use up all of the tail um, but um, okay so when you go to get into the machine your foot's gonna set up against the foot plate that's just gonna hold you in place so this strap then will go around the thigh and it will just hold you in the correct place you know as the machine is um, working so we're getting into use so here's your remote this pretty much controls everything you know once you once you have your uh, the frame set up to your height um, that should not have to move anymore um, and it's basically start and stop um, so start and stop but there's a couple other things I want to show you so right now the 70 is where the flexion is currently set for um, flexion is the bending of your knee so it's the bend upward um, 70 is pretty aggressive um, so we're gonna go ahead and bring that down uh, and we'll tap this arrow that's pointing right up at the 70 and then we'll use the plus and minus arrows let's go ahead and bring that down to 50 and it'll blink a couple times and then it'll stay steady when it's set uh, right now the 10 which is the extension which is the straightening out of your leg is it's fully extended right now to 10 um, that's that's pretty good number um, to start with uh, and that degree is measured along the fulcrum where the where the machine is bent here um, so you know where should I set this at you know you know where does my doctor want me to start so typically this is something that is done to your tolerance we want to push it but not cause pain if you're causing pain you're going to uh, you, you're 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 going too hard for 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 your body um, so we're gonna go ahead and push start and what's gonna happen is this machine's gonna move up to 50 so this, you know would be a 50 degree angle right here you'll see this number is going up 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 that's where you that's where you're currently your current angle is so now it's going down as the machine is going down uh, it's going to go down to 10 and then back up to 50 So like I said, we do this to your pain tolerance for ACL patients and um, total knees. Uh, you do not want to move this more than five degrees per day. Uh, and that's in um, both directions. So tomorrow, this 10 might go to eight and the 50 would go to 53. Um, so that's a total of five degree span. Um, you do not have to go five degrees uh, it could be two it could be one like I said it all depends on uh, how you feel and your pain tolerance um, like I said we want to push it but we're not causing pain uh, the other thing I'd like to show you is the speed button um, there is you can you can set the speed it's set through one through five uh, so what we do is we tap this speed button here it's just below the start button so right now it's on four so maybe on the day of surgery you're going to start at one um, and that is super super slow again we're not trying to cause pain we're just trying to have you move your leg uh, get some blood flow into the area um, this you know the first few days what i tell my patients is it's it's not about repetitions it's about time so this is to be broken up um, however you would like in six hours a day so you can do an hour at a time two hours at a time three hours at a time or the six hours all straight as long as you get six hours in per day um, and uh, more if you'd like it's not going to hurt 
And then, uh, so right now we're on one, as you can see, it's moving very, very slowly. Uh, you know, so eventually you may want to kick that up and it goes up to five. So I'm going to show you this fastest speed. This is as fast as it goes, which is really not super, super fast, but. And uh, just a couple of typical little tips. Um, it's easier to get in and out of the machine when it's on its lowest point. Uh, so we're going to stop it when it gets to 10 so that the patient can jump out easier. Um, the other thing is whatever leg it is that you're having surgery on, it's always easiest to lead with the surgical leg. So we have Russ's right leg in here. If and so you would get into the machine from this side so you don't have to lift the good leg over and then put the bad leg in. Um, so always lead with the uh, surgical leg. Um, if you have any other questions, your rep can help you. Um, just reach out to him that there should be his uh, or her number in your package um, and they'll be happy to help. Thanks a lot.